Hello, today is Thursday, August 30th, 2018. Today's vlog will also cover Wednesday, August 29, 2018. Um, I was really short on time on Wednesday, and yeah, I just uh, missed out on it uh, yesterday. It's not gonna be a big, it's not a big deal. I mean, as long as I'm doing the vlog. Um, man, yesterday was weird. Yesterday was a good day. Like, it was a good day. Like, the kids were well behaved. My wife was cool. Nobody got into a fight. I didn't get in. I didn't. Nothing bad happened at all. Right? But something was off about yesterday. And I don't know. Like, I think it was because on Tuesday night I just couldn't get any sleep. And, like, just. I managed to get some sleep. And the thing was, I was, like, I was still feeling pretty awake. Right? I was, being, I was feeling pretty woke. Anyway, um, yeah, so I was feeling pretty woke that day, and I was feeling okay. But at the same time, I felt off. Like, there was, there was something weird about it. And that's the thing, it wasn't about the school or anything. It was it was me. It was something internal. And I'm like, why do I just feel so off? And, and I don't know. Um, in general, it was an okay day, though. Um, I, I think it had something to do with... I mean, I have two theories. The first theory was... I just didn't get enough sleep last night, the night before, I mean. My second theory is, ever since I've been reading that book about, um, you know, the subtle art of not giving an F, um, it challenges you to change your quote-unquote metrics, your expectations, to, um, you know, not just add, not actively pursue happiness, like saying, like going to a mirror and say, oh, I'm happy, no, that's not going to work. Instead, um, picking and choosing what you struggle with and finding out your values and for me um i'm i'm in this process of trying to figure out what my values are like what are the values i'm going to be carrying with me and what i'm going to be developing for the upcoming school year this year and you know my life in general and i guess by like an old metric yesterday would have been a crappy day i guess um you know because I was, I ended up, it was just a normal day. I ended up just playing like a little bit of Black Desert Online, hung out with my wife. Uh, I taught a lesson plan from a copy. Um, I came here a little bit late, a uh, copy machine, took a little longer than usual. And by my old metrics, I would say that, yeah, it was a pretty crappy day. But as the book mentioned, like you're going to have some weird adjustment pains. And I guess this is one of those things where I'm just, it's just a strange quote unquote adjustment. And instead of me seeing it and rushing to conclusions, thinking like, oh, this is like a bad day, I was like, okay, it's, it's, everything's okay. But then my body is like, and my mind is like, aren't we supposed to be like a little bit more overreactive? It's something like that. Anyway, what was also cool was I had a department meeting with my English department for the first time. It was really engaging. It was actually like, we weren't actually talking about things like, oh, like policy, blah, 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 blah. We're actually just talking about things like themes. How are we gonna make a visual organizer for the school on how to show themes? And we were actually having a deep conversation and I was actually enjoying myself. We were talking, we weren't talking about pedagogy. We were talking about language theory, literary theory. And it was so exciting because I, I would admit this is, must be like, that must have been like the first time in my teaching career where we taught literary theory. So it was great, you know, I enjoyed it. Now I'm kind of like oh, motivated to just keep going now just because of that. But at the same time, right, my body just kept saying, aren't we supposed to be upset about something right now? I was like, I, I don't know. I'm like, I don't know if I'm supposed to be upset about something. Um, but yeah, so today is going to be a pretty straightforward day. Some of the kids are going to be getting the computers. Um, not for me, but from their, English, their history class. Um, so I guess tomorrow we'll be planning on doing that. Um, and then, you know, my ELD kids are going to have their placement test, so it's their first opportunity to move up in the world, get their ELD4 going. Um, we'll see how well they can do. Um, other than that, not much else is on the is on the, the plate today. Um, it's my brother's birthday today, so happy birthday to my brother. Um, I'm going to look forward to eating some sushi tonight. I'm going to stuff my face. Speaking of which, I had DoorDash yesterday, and that was pretty cool. I ordered, we were, my wife and I ordered Jack in the Box, spent 25 bucks, we were like, we don't care, because it was a free delivery. It took 40 minutes, but here's the thing. 40 minutes equals, from my house, would like drive over there in traffic, right, during rush hour, 
like because our jack in the box is really far away from where we live, right? Drive all the way over there with traffic and you know all the stuff that goes along with driving, and then come back, and then eat. It's gonna take forty minutes anyway. Instead, we ended up just watching the last episode of How I Met Your Mother, and I'll tell you now, I didn't watch it. I wasn't a religious watcher, but I knew what was going on. And when I saw the ending, I, I don't understand why people were crying. I was like, well, no, I understood why people were crying. It, it was a manipulation, everybody. I'm telling you, like they went for the cheapest, they went for the cheapest te tears, the cheapest shocks, and also the most inconsistent storytelling. I mean, goodness gracious me, like. They spend so much time like building character building, blah blah blah, and in the last episode they just rip it apart. It almost seemed like they wanted like this show to go on another ten years. It was ridiculous. And after that, I don't know. So they rushed that last ending. Honestly, it should have been way. It could have been way better. Um, it's not as bad as what Star Wars has become, so that's okay. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah. So it's pretty chill there. Um, but yeah. Today, I'm gonna eat some sushi. Um, wife's at home, she's sick right now. Uh, I'm trying to do my best to take care of her. Uh, but yeah, um, well, good day tomorrow and today. Yeah, I don't feel as off as I did yesterday, so. Anyway, I'll talk to you later, bye.